It was also the EFF. We will win the elections, they kept saying. When we take over in 2019, May elections, we will do this and we will do that. Well, what happened? The EFF dreams about an all-powerful Father Christmas state that will deliver everything and anything to everybody overnight. And let me tell you, it's not simple Mao suits of the 1960s they want for all. It's Louis Vuitton red overalls. Nationalized, they say. Nationalized and hey presto, hey presto, everything gets solved. Now, this is idealism of the worst sort. The EFF claims to be Marxist. Where is the historical materialism? No assessment of the historical juncture, of the readiness of the working class and its allies for socialism. And where exactly is the EFF socialist struggle, working class base? Where's the trade union movement? Where's the workers? Where in the world? When did Lenin and Marx say it is the youth that will be the revolutionary motive force for socialism? Not Lenin, not Marx, and not the other great hero. The great Franz Venon never said that. And this, this populism is closely linked to its militaristic posture. There is no armed struggle. We are a democracy. They're in parliament. Why do they have as the head a commander in chief? Where's the internal democracy? Who is he commanding? Towards what end? No clarity, right? He, thinks he was too young to be in the armed struggle, rightly. I have no doubt he would have taken part. But, but he thinks that if you fire a rifle in the air at the EFF rally, that makes you a soldier. Now, and the EFF, let me tell you, is all tactics and no strategy. No, no, no. The EF is tactical. Everything is tactical. So they swing from one extreme to the other. Identity crisis. So one day they're opposing the public protector. Next day they're supporting the public protector. We don't know what's going on. One day they're opposing state corruption or, or, or state captures, we call it. Next day defending the perpetrators of that corruption. 